Hello, end of November 2025. Still here, still on Mother Earth, watching the planets as they appear to travel around us, reflecting back what's going on on Mother Earth. As we slowly slide into December 2025, it seems like a good time to take a look at the outer planets and where they are presently traveling and where they will be traveling or transiting through 2026. Transiting Pluto entered Aquarius in January of 2025. And we've been seeing a reflection of this, of course, in our lives on this planet extreme revolutionary change taking place. Pluto is the planet of life and death and life and death issues. The planet of regeneration and rebirth, recycling. It's the planet of power and power and control and those who are in power and control. So as it has slowly moved into Aquarius this last year, we have seen a manifestation of eccentricity, Aquarius things extremes this planet Pluto is a planet of extremes and it's now in the sign of extremes Aquarius is connected to eccentricity it's symbolic of freedom and revolution of extremes in all directions and we are seeing that in the manifestation of how those in power are using that power Pluto would also be therefore associated with war, being the planet of life and death over others. So this will continue this ongoing Pluto now in Aquarian energy for us all. And of course, we also had this very rare, unusual conjunction in 2025 of Saturn and Neptune. Saturn reality and Neptune illusion and the two of them have been very much locked in hand in hand all through 2025. What's real? And of course this has been played upon and utilized by those in power, the media, Neptune, involved in the creation of reality, Saturn. We've also seen Uranus entering Gemini in 2025, just barely. It has now retrograded to late Taurus and will re-enter Gemini in 2026. Jupiter is in Cancer at this present time. It will continue in Cancer through the early months of 2026 and then enter Leo. But it's transiting Saturn I wish to talk about today. Both Neptune and Saturn have retrograded back to late Pisces. They will both re-enter Aries in February of 2026. So Saturn will officially enter Aries in 2026 and will continue through the sign Aries until 2028. Saturn, that important planet that symbolizes our systems, our collective systems and structures that make our societies function in orderly fashion our justice systems, our educational systems, our medical systems, all of these systems, our governmental systems. These are all Saturn things in this language of astrology. So Saturn's now and Saturn things are going to have a face that is Aries in nature during the next two and a half years. Aries. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It is a fire sign and a cardinal sign. We have four cardinal signs. We have the signs that are on the angles. These cardinal signs are the signs that are on a compass, east, west, north, and south. So we have Aries, we have Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn as the cardinal signs. So as Transiting Saturn slowly travels through Aries during the next two years. We will see it form squares with people's planets in Cancer. We will also see it form squares with people's planets in Capricorn. We will also see it form squares, 90 degree angles. As Saturn throughs, go, travels through Aries the next two years, it'll slowly square people's planets in both these two 
signs Cancer and Capricorn. It will be opposite Libra, 180 degrees opposite. So these signs, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, will be very much influenced by the transit of Saturn through the sign Aries and be experiencing personally squares and oppositions. As Saturn travels through the fire sign Aries, it will also see Saturn trining the fire sign Leo and the fire sign Sagittarius. So the two other fire signs are benefited by Saturn's slow transit through the fire sign of Aries. Aries, fire, cardinal, initiates action, starts things, the new beginnings, the new starts, being the very first to do something, competitive. On the more challenging side, aggressive. The planet that is associated with Aries is the planet Mars. New starts, new beginnings, action, taking action. And it's initiating that action. In terms of anatomy, human anatomy, Aries is the sign of the head and the brain and the eyes. Again, Aries is connected to new beginnings, new starts, and this includes the new beginning of life in nature. In nature, the sign and the spring correlate. The sign Aries, the month, April, April, May, and spring in the given year, in the natural year, they are all interconnected. So it's during the month of Aries that we see the leaves come on the trees and the animals in nature give birth and have their new babies. New starts and new beginnings in nature is not January, it is the month of Aries, April. So Saturn's themes of discipline and structure and systems are going to combine with Aries energies, impulsive, pioneering spirit. There may be in personal lives a struggle, very strong struggle between patience and impulse. Aries is all about quick, sudden impulse and following that impulse. Now, when we look at the last time in history that Saturn was traveling in Aries, this was 1996 through 1998. There are two things that happened at that time that may be happening in retrospect. This particular time, we see a repeating pattern very often. There was a sexual scandal when Saturn entered Aries and was traveling in Aries the last time in 98, 96, 97, 98. It was Bill Clinton who was the president at that time and was involved in a sexual scandal. Donald Trump and the Epstein report, all of this potential sexual scandal happening again while Saturn is in Aries. We also saw the end of a war, and that's one of the positive things that often comes historically when we see transiting Saturn travel through Aries. Saturn is discipline and it's restriction, it's control, and Aries is war, it's impulse, it's aggression. So when Saturn's in Aries, sometimes this controls that aggressive instinct and impulse and controls whatever's going on in terms of, mar of war on the planet. And the last time Saturn traveled through Aries, there is a very heavy war going on, the Bosnian War. And the Bosnian War came to an end when Saturn was in Aries in 1996 through 1998. We will probably see the end of the Ukraine-Russian War while Saturn is in Aries. But the other face to this is that a very structured, disciplined approach to war and initiating a new war is also one of the seed potentials while Saturn is transiting in Aries. And of course we have Donald Trump and Venezuela. So we might want to keep an eye on that. But transiting Saturn in Aries is either going to bring control over the war instinct or it's going to bring a harnessed, controlled, disciplined effort 
towards a war. Those born with Saturn in Aries, either the last time, which was between 96 and 98, or 60 years ago, which would have been 1966, 67, this is when transiting Saturn was in Aries before. So those who have that in their birth chart this time, transit Saturn is in Aries, we're going to see them experience their Saturn returns. Saturn return, when the Saturn returns to its original position in your birth chart, it's a time when your own personal structures come under great attention and focus. They're either ending or they're ending and making way for new beginnings and new structures being committed to. So the endings and beginnings of structures in people's lives who were born with Saturn in Aries can be expected during the next two years that again, once again, Saturn will be traveling through Aries. So at best, what we can hope for the group of us, the collective group of us, with Saturn traveling through Aries, would be a period of building new structures to replace all of those that have been torn down or removed or collapsed during the last two years, three years. New structures for society. This is one of the positive seed potentialities with Saturn traveling through Aries. Disciplined action going towards new structures, the building of new infrastructures in our societies, or disciplined action towards war. This is the choice that Aries brings with it. And we'll be seeing this during the next two years as transiting Saturn travels through Aries. Take care.